guys, welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video. Today I'm using a reshade to make everything look a lot cooler. And we're gonna be building on Isla Tacano. In Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. I'll do Jurassic World mode. Because no one really uses it, but it was the original and it's a lot cooler and a lot easier to use. Although it comes with less stuff. So Yeah, that's what it's gonna be like. So let's just wait a couple seconds. Yeah, we could skip this. Okay, let's see. What can I be doing? So, step one, we're going to get rid of this path. Maybe get rid of some of this water. And next up will be a flatten the terrain. So, starting here, just be flat for the rest of this. I like it when it's flat so it doesn't really mess up the rest of the terrain, so I could just like... Okay, just connect this up here, or until there's like, here, perfect. I didn't actually see that coming, because I don't really work on Isla Tacano that much, like at all, so. Okay, that should be flat enough. Let's see. Okay, let's see how I'm going to do this. Did I go to the path? Yes. Okay, the next one is I'm going to go to so the thick path. Do one, two, three. Oh, I didn't do this. How did I miss that? Let's see anything else. Just checking. I'll just smoothen this side out just to make it look better. Same thing over here. Okay, there. Now I'm going to start. So I'm going to keep on adding this until I get to a certain distance. So about to about one more. Well, let's see how big the innovation center is in the first place, because I will place that in an innovation center now. Is that straight? Yeah, okay, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, the next step would be to add... Actually, maybe I might go the thick path for this. No, I don't want this to all be thick path, but it looks good. Yeah, I think thin path would have been easier because it's not as long. Maybe I should go like that. Yeah, I'll just do this. 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 And that. Okay, the next step would be to get right there. Boom. That looks good. And then next time I'm just going to add like a couple of links. Maybe like an arcade here. 
maybe a clothes shop here. What else can I add? No, I'll put that in the front. Maybe, um, uh, what should I put here? Uh, yeah, maybe a fast food restaurant here. Are these about the same size? Oh, they are the same size. So are these. Okay, yeah. Okay, and the final step would be adding a restaurant. And then adding... A toy shop. I might have to redo the innovation center though. Cause it looks like it's a little tilted. Okay, if that's what it was before, I think about that, it doesn't look straight. I feel like these controls are inverted. When I click Z, does that? Huh, maybe I haven't noticed that before. about good okay okay just gonna do this again wait I didn't realize this is tilted just do that that. You know what I'm going to do to make this reshade look better? I'm going to click home to edit my reshade. Rank the colorfulness up to max. This looks even more colorful now. I can't wait to see what a T-Rex looks like when it's this colorful. go down from here I feel like that's where let me see if this fits perfectly here then I know what where this thing is gonna go oh my gosh it does not fit perfectly here from what I thought it did too thin or thick. Okay. The next up, let's just see how big is one of these. Oh yeah, they are quite big. Okay, the next up is maybe adding a heavy steel fence. Maybe an electrified one. Okay, I'll make one go around here. So step one would be adding the Hammond Creation Lab around here. Oh, okay. And the second step would be adding an electrified seal fence around here. And then I'm going to just flatten this for a second.
And then I'm going to go around like this and then connect here. Oh, I thought that would look a lot better. Boom. The only step left is now I have to actually build this. Okay, that's better. Maybe I can get rid of these trees and then add like my own personal touches of trees here and there. Okay. And the next step would be adding two things actually. I have to add a viewing gallery around let's see, that looks around right right around there. And there. Okay. That actually looks quite good. And then next it will be... I, I'm gonna see what the meat looks like. How colorful will it look? Oh my gosh, that meat is very colorful. I have an idea. So I downloaded this thing called Norsefire Cinematic Preset. Oh, come on, it didn't work. It looks like I might have to turn on all of these. What is the one that makes it look a lot cooler? It was that, yeah. I think this is probably it. Yeah, that was it. So I could turn off this, and I could turn off this probably. That's what it looked like before. That looks cool. There. Now that looks cool. Okay, let's see. What dinosaurs should I put in here? Hmm. Wow, these dinosaurs look a lot more colorful than I thought they would. Look how colorful that Ceratosaurus looks. Okay, let's see. That Mosasaurus is bluer than ever. Wow, the color purple now looks like just a very, like... Actually, that looks quite good. That's actually a very nice purple color. Okay. If only there was a solid green uh, T-Rex with like a tan underbelly. But sadly, the closest we can get is wetland, which just gives it black stripes. Okay, the next part would be adding... Okay, what dinosaur looks like it would fit in here? That isn't a T-Rex. Has to be a carnivore because I added one of those. Hmm, an Allosaurus maybe? Hmm. Maybe a female battle at build Big Rock one. This will probably actually be the best. And forgot to add one more thing. I'll just make an incubation speed X. I don't really need that many dinosaurs in here. Okay. If only this water was transparent. Is there actual transparent water on this map? I, I thought there was. Yeah, it looks like it. this is transparent. It probably is. I just can't see it. Okay, releasing the Allosaurus. It should look nothing like it does in the photo. Let's see it from the sun's angle. Oh yeah, that is colorful. 
Oh my gosh, look at that purple in the mouth. Okay, the next part should be adding the male. Which is this one. In a couple seconds it'll be released. There should look like the base game one just with the model of the new one. You know what would make this a lot easier is if I turned on sandbox no scar. What if I delete this? You can get enclosures, feeders. I'll put a goat feeder instead. Hmm, okay. Let's see if dinosaurs can actually eat other dinosaurs. Okay, this dinosaur's food is going down. Maybe it'll hunt. Okay, that one isn't hunting, and that one isn't hunting. These dinosaurs would normally, like, kill each other, but they're not, so... When this dinosaur gets to the starving level, it'll probably start hunting. Maybe the next part should be adding a tall herbivore feeder over here and another viewing gallery right about there. Okay, this one's probably almost at starving. I think they both might need some water. Just add some sand under here. And around there. Yeah, here's the mail. What happens if I give them two kids? And they are, I think they're only male skins for them, kids. Let's see. Let's go back to juvenile. So let's see, woodland, step, uh, I'll just go with null. Actually, I'll go with one woodland. And one arid pattern. Here's the kid. I think it should have a green skin. Yeah, and the other one should be yellow. I don't know why it's called Hammond Creation Lab 3. Let's go to capture mode for this. I think this should be the desert-like one. Yeah, it's a desert one. The yellow. Okay. Let's see. One of these should be hungry. Oh, it's food increase. Let's see. Did it kill a goat? Oh, because it's Allosaurus 3. Oh, this one is about to starve. Okay, yeah. Uh, how do I do this? How would I do this? 
Let's get an enclosure so I'll go back to normal feeder probably. This looks like a good place and you just walk by and then you have like an innovation center at the end. Maybe I should add another enclosure down here. Or in the general area. I think I have an idea. This will be a very large enclosure. I think this will have like a bunch of herbivores and maybe like two carnivores. Let's go with this, and I'll place this here. I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to flatten the terrain around this area. And stretch up like that. Maybe around here I could pull it back a little bit. And then go like that. And then it'll... And then over here, I'll just do the normal, which would just be spreading this out. So I think I'll put a couple herbivore feeder here. And here. And I'll put like a tall herbivore feeder here. here and maybe just one more around here and maybe I'll add the Jurassic tour here that's too curved That looks like a good area it can go around. Oh no, no, no. This is uneven terrain. Which means I might have to do the trick where I go down one and I go in between and then go like that. Perfect. Okay, looks like I'll have some tall herbivores in here and maybe some normal size herbivores in here. Let's put one tall feeder right here. Well, I might have to add these to paths first. X 
next up should be adding two triceratopses. Uh, two triceratops. I think that's the plural. So, incubation speed X. Hatching capacity 2. And that should be it. Now I'm going to do it. So, it'll be triceratops. Actually, no. Let's go with something a little more unknown. So, maybe like a nasutoceratops and a pentaceratops or a sinoceratops. Yeah, I'll do one sinoceratops. Two, actually, two sinoceratopses and then two nasutos. Where is it? It's usually here. I'm not really used to seeing the pseudoceratops. So, here, yeah. One, two. And then I might add like, a couple brachiosauruses later. Actually, Mementosaurus, because I'm trying not to make these dinosaurs like so, like, what the ones I usually do. Like, T Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, Pteranodon. And maybe some Brachiosaurus. I'm trying to like go through the category but use like less unknown. Like for Stegosaurus, I went like at a Kentrosaurus or something. Actually, that might actually be a good idea. I should add a Kentrosaurus in this enclosure too. Oh, a Giga. A G Gigantospinosaurus. Never heard of that one before. But I, I might actually go to Stegosaurus. Actually, not Stegosaurus. Kentrosaurus. Here, one Kentrosaurus. I'll release it when it's done. Okay, now I feel good for downloading the deluxe DLC pack in way back in 2018. I got this dinosaur. And it's adorable. Maybe I'll get a mod that overhauls this. That is weird. Does that mean? Nah. Oh, that does mean. Okay, that means from a certain angle, light will actually appear as blue on this. This actually looks a lot like the Jurassic World Evolution 2 map. How they have like this and they have two enclosures, but they would usually have Brachiosaurus in here and this would be a lot smaller and they just have like Triceratops, Stegosaurus, like that. Maybe they'd have like a couple gyrospheres going through there. Now I'm starting to regret this and switching it. Maybe I can go... Okay, that's done. Okay, now it's time for the couple Brachiosaurus... Uh, sorry. Momentosaurus is... I'll just release them in three, two, one. These guys take a long time to release. Wait, how tall is this thing? The Rekisaurus has to duck under this? Now look how high this is. Let's go to the ground to see how tall. Now that's tall. Human would be about this tall. The moment a gyrosphere comes. Mm -hmm. 
I heard a power problem coming from this, like, due to issues with our power supply, like that. All these dinosaurs are so cute. Why don't I use these more? Okay, maybe I might need another carnivore in here. What goes well with Allosaurus? Hmm. Oh, Carnotaurus and Baryonyx. Perfect. So I'll put two Carnotauruses in here. I only have one skin for them, so it doesn't really matter. I can get rid of this. That's actually quite useless now. This is like paradise for dinosaurs. But there are a lot of carnivores in here. Maybe I should sell some of these guys. Yeah, I'll sell some of them, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's place this down here. I'm gonna wait for that to finish. It's taking way too long. And when I'm done, I'm gonna sell some of these Allosaurus. So maybe Allosaurus 3 and 4, so these two. And I also, I actually might sell all my Allosaurus and just start anew. Especially you. This is the Battle at, uh, Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus with the blue spots on its face and the white muzzle. Oh, it's like this. This is doing really good, this park. One more thing. Actually, two things. First, I'll add an aviary here. Oh, yeah, I forgot I modded this to look like, um. I forgot what I called it. I'm gonna have to expand the landscape back here. That looks good as well. That means I can expand the grass going through here. Here we have little spots of dirt around here. Okay, that looks reasonable. I'll still keep this over here. That sounded cool how it just like popped down. Let me just check something. Just the pointy parts that come out don't affect the building process.
Wow, the AVU now I think about is um, pretty much as tall as the Innovation Center. That should be about this. Oh, okay, yeah, it should be done now. Three, two, sorry, four, three, two, one. Wait, no, five, four, three, two, one. Move oh, that. Okay, this actually looks really good. That actually looks like a good Jurassic World aviary. Hmm. Now that I think about it, these viewing galleries look like they'll be the same in Jurassic World Evolution 2. And this path system looks epic, okay. Is La Ticano and the Comedy Land here? Here looks okay. Now this should be done, yep. Let's see. ID, yes, is an Allosaurus, tranquilize. Allosaurus, Allosaurus. Oh wait, T. Upgrades like this. Yes, an Allosaurus, and one of these has to be an Allosaurus, yeah. That's what I don't like about Jurassic World Evolution. So much clipping. Okay, this actually is quite good. Now this is mostly done. I'm not gonna add like this to be like, this is like a perfect sandbox park, so there's no actual power necessary. And if there was, I'd probably put something up here on top of this mountain and then stretch it down here. If I had the chance to build Jurassic World, I'd probably build it somewhere over here facing this direction because over here it's too busy. So many trees. So so many trees okay let me just do this okay i'll add some of these and you can add incubation speed x and i can increase the terrain on slots Okay, now it's time to add some pteranodons. Incubate. Cancel it. Yes. Change skin. What does alpine look like? I'm just gonna go through this. I'll go with all one skin. I'm pretty sure alpine should look like the Jurassic World skin. If it doesn't, I'll just leave it like it. I don't really care about that. Please have red eyes, please have red eyes. Yes, I think. I can't really check. Oh, this one has no eyes. I can't really get rid of it. When I'm done, I could just sell the pteranodons. If 
if I had the ability to just place volumetric water like this anywhere I want, that would be like epic. But I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't. This looks a lot like Jurassic World Evolution 2. Or whatever the park they use in there. Although this is useless, it looks good. So it would be this. And then Operations Fossils Building. Nah, okay, I'll just do this. Okay, that's it. This seriously looks a lot like Jurassic World. Like, their aviary. But then again, it doesn't because it doesn't have those things that are holding it down. Okay. That's done. This is probably done, I actually don't know. Styracosaurus, well most of the ceratopsids have a very geometric face. They have like a rectangle on their forehead and like a square on their mouth. So a triangle for their mouth. Okay, that should be it for this park. There's not that much I have to add to this park for it to look good. But yeah, that should be it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.